Antique Plaza, an indoor shopping mall here in Bangkok, devoted entirely to electronics. This is a temple to technology. Everywhere around you, you see speakers, printers, uh, laptops for gamers. But this is just a single snapshot of the click culture of Thailand. Now, on the program, we're going to explore how the kingdom is positioning itself as a tech hub for the region. So join me, Christy Lustow, as we take the pulse of Thai technology, feeling out the pressure points as well as the opportunity. Bangkok, Thailand, the Southeast Asian megacity of temples and tuk-tuks, street food and smiles. A hotspot for tourists, Bangkok has grown rapidly over the years with a cityscape that continues to modernize, expanding as far as the eye can see. It is a show of strength for the Thai economy and a country of almost 70 million sandwiched between Asian powerhouses India and China. But in the global race for technology and innovation, some might say that Thailand is missing something, something that many entrepreneurs in this town are actively chasing. elusive and extremely rare. Since time immemorial, the unicorn has captured our imaginations. But in the world of startups, the unicorn is real. These are privately held companies worth over 1 billion US dollars. Thailand may be the second largest economy in ASEAN, but it has yet to produce its first startup unicorn. That's you right. know, so what's the secret? What needs to happen next for Thailand to, to make that goal? Uh, the, the tax incentive is uh, definitely one of the very first, uh, which we are still working on it. It's actually much more competitive now, but still not, not most competitive. Uh, secondly is how, to, how we attracted the, uh, the fund, VCs, for example. According to CB Insights, there are upwards of 300 startup unicorns in the world, and more than three quarters of these private companies come from the US and China. Many of these unicorns are household names. Think Uber and Airbnb, the drones made by DJI and Grab in Southeast Asia, all tech superstars that transform the way we live. So in the global hunt for these magical 10-digit companies, could the next unicorn come from Thailand? Supachai Chiafanon thinks so. He heads up True Corporation, a communications conglomerate that recently opened a tech-centric campus in Bangkok called True Digital Park. For him, this is exactly the kind of ecosystem with its hot desks, maker spaces, and ready supply of coffee that unicorns can thrive in. What is this robot? I keep seeing the it's, robot it's here. It's a service robot. Oh, oh okay, yeah. it is example, delivered water. If, if you want some water. Okay, <laughs> let me put it back. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> open, please. Open, open please. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay thank you. Close, okay. please. All right, see you. Bye. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Thailand is coming from behind yeah. and has big dreams. Thailand wants to be the tech hub for the region. Yeah. It has the infrastructure, yeah. places like this. It has the investment. Yeah. There are, as you put out, you know, just then, you have strategies in place. But can Thailand do it? We are not in here just to for the return on investment uh, in terms of the co-working space and real estate. We are in here with, with bigger purpose than that. We are in here to really really uh, attract and create an ecosystem that could attract the right talent mm -hmm. and entrepreneurship over to Thailand. So far, True Digital Park has already attracted the attention of global heavy hitters like Google and WeWork. As Thailand focuses on shifting its economy from industry to high-tech innovations, building the infrastructure to support these ambitions is key. 
The IDC predicts that by 2022, more than 60% of Thailand's GDP will be digitized, driving some 70 billion US dollars in IT-related investment. We're an agricultural basket for the world. We're in a manufacturing uh, hub uh, for um, innovations from other countries. Now what I think a lot of people didn't realize is Thailand is actually one of the most entrepreneurial countries in the world. Amarit Chatronpan started Hubba, Thailand's first co-working space back in 2012. At the time, he says Thailand's nascent startup scene lacked a sense of community. We at Hubba act as the bridge, uh, understands all the parties at the table. As long as people still like to grab a beer, still like to be pitched in person, shared workspace, co-working spaces, uh, still a tremendous way to go. The numbers also back up this need among Thailand's entrepreneurs for physical space. During the past seven years, from 2011 to 2018, the total estimated value of uh, startup fundraisers in Thailand is estimated around 337 million US dollars. And one of the big key players in our communities are from corporate venture capital. Texas tracks business and technology news in the region with a particular emphasis on Thailand. The company says that there are currently more than 800 startups in the kingdom today and that the key challenge for growth is whether they can scale up their business and cater to the region. I believe that uh, in the next few years we will have a unicorn because of uh, like the, there are a lot of the promising startup. There's all these billion dollar companies in Singapore and Indonesia and Vietnam a little bit. Uh, why isn't there one from Thailand? So I think there's always been a host of very fundamental issues that uh, really help, has, has not helped the, the ecosystem move faster, whether it's access to capital, um, talent, and the ed education for um, high technology skills. We've really unpacked all those challenges, and I think we're about to see Thailand at an inflection point.